And breaking news as we come back on the air, Hurricane Helene making its way towards northwest Florida as a category four storm. You can see the storm's projected path right there live at the bottom of your screen. Ryan Smith joins us at the live desk. Ryan is Florida's Big Bend region takes the first punch. We're starting to get those images in. Yeah, breaking tonight, Hurricane Helene now expected to make landfall in the next half hour or so. Just moments ago, the Associated Press had reported landfall occurred, but that still has yet to be confirmed. Just minutes ago, officials reporting the first death tonight out of the Tampa Bay area. Officials there say a driver was killed tonight after a sign fell onto their car. Of course, you see these are some of the reasons why life-threatening storm surges and dangerous flooding impacting that entire area. Let's go to brand new video here just released out of Lee County, Florida, south of there. Marine deputies launching their first rescue boats and water rescues of the night. This happening in Fort Myers Beach. Storms have been hitting that area all day long. At last check, more than 600,000 people across the state are without power at this hour. Officials say this will likely be the strongest hurricane to hit the country in more than a year. The Carolinas and Georgia also warning people there to prepare for the worst. Tornado watches and warnings are in effect right now for more than 8 million people across that entire region. And we will continue to track Hurricane Helene's path as it violently crawls across Florida. You can follow along on air and online at thenationaldesk.com.